Only 20% of our longevity is based on what we inherit from our parents, our, our genetic inheritance. The rest is up to how we live our lives. And we know this from studies of twins who lead different lives but have the same genome. And they can live very different and lead very different uh, lives when they get older. I work in the genetics department at Harvard Medical School, so I have to give a nod to genes. Um, but when it comes to long-term health, um, yeah, a lot of it can be avoided. You might have a predisposition to type 2 diabetes, high blood sugar. I do. You know, I can see that running through my father's bloodline. Um, but you know, my father and I, we, we practice what we preach. Um, and we, we've managed to keep our uh, type 2 diabetes and blood sugar levels well within control. And our bodies are, are in tip-top shape for our age. Uh, you know, I would say for my father, he's physically 30 years younger than his actual age. And I'm not kidding. We've tested it. Um, and so with that, you know, it's just an example of just by modifying your lifestyle, uh, you can have a huge impact on your genetic destiny that there are things you can do right now that can slow your aging. We, we know this for a fact now. We know this, for example, because we can read the biological clock. The epigenome can be read just as easily now as your DNA, your genome. And if you look at people who do certain things, which I'll get to, uh, we can see that their aging is slowed down and they have a much greater health span and lifespan on average. Uh, so if there's only one thing that I could recommend, and there are more than that in the book for sure, but the, the one thing that I'd say that you could start with today uh, is to eat less often. Uh, I'm not talking about malnutrition or starvation. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for you know, young teenagers, but uh, you know, in your 20s, 30s, uh, there's a lot of evidence that skipping a meal each day, maybe two, uh, have long lasting benefits and it slows down this, these scratches. Uh, I, for one, uh, I don't eat breakfast. I rarely eat lunch and I eat a reasonable dinner. Um, if you do this to mice, by the way, and just restrict the time that they eat during the day, they can eat as many calories, almost as many calories as a mouse that grazes through the day, but they live, I think it's 20% longer and I'll stay healthier. So that's what I, I think is the easiest thing to do. And, you know, I'm sitting here with a cup of tea. Uh, if, if you do it for about a week or two, you, you literally don't feel hungry. So it's, don't imagine that it's that difficult.